Good morning guys, today I thought we would do a day in the life of a cloth diapering mom video. Bear just got his first diaper, I'm about to take Cal out to the bus stop and then we have to run to the grocery store and then we will be back to talk more about cloth diapers. Today I thought we would try out the Dysana, uh, what are they called, the, like, it's like a Thai nappy I think is what the packaging is called. So it's super cute and, and I will show you how I've been using it how I wrap it around him and how it's been working. Um, if you like using like wool covers and wool pants and stuff, this diaper is pretty adorable. So um, we're gonna put that on later, maybe not the next diaper, but soon enough. We're gonna talk about that today. And then also just other random new diapers I've been trying out, stuff like that. You guys know how these videos go. If you've watched any of them, we just talk about diapers all day and I show you all the diapers that I change bear into. So. Let's hop into the rest of the day. Gotta take Cal out to the bus and then we'll see how the day goes. It's super duper cold today. Like, I think the high is like 17. So that's how it's gonna go today. You ready for school? You ready to go? Somebody apparently was misbehaving inside so Aaron told me to come get him. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for a new diaper? What kind of diaper should we do? Let's see. All right, next diaper is going to be one of these Panolino Bambino. This is, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll, I'll leave it down here. Um, but it has one of these snap-in tri-fold inserts. It just has one little snap, and then you fold it up. But it dries really well, it washes really well, and so far it seems to be plenty of absorbency. I haven't done an absorbency test on it yet, but it works fine for Barrett. And yeah, it's super cute. Like, I know it's girly, guys. I know, but it's blue, right? <laughs> I've just decided this time around, he's my lastest baby. The lastest baby to wear the coif diapers. <laughs> so if I want to get some cute florals that are like, you know, at least blue, <laughs> I'm going to do it. What's going on down there? Just up here doing some learning time with Aaron. He's doing some tracing, some tracing, some cutting, and then we're gonna build some stuff with uh, popsicle sticks. So Bear has these uh, pictures of his family members. Like those are both the grandmas that our preschool teacher made for him, so he can just look at everyone's faces and destroy them <laughs> for his learning time. That's my baby bear. That's my baby bear. He's the babyest bear in the land. He's the babyest bear in the land. Yes. <laughs> I love your one little tooth. I love your tiny little one tooth on the top. <laughs> he has his two bottoms, but he only has one on top. You're still hungry? Okay. Do you want more strawberries? No? Peanut butter sandwich? Well, it's still like two hours till lunchtime. It is lunchtime? Yeah. Okay, what would you like to eat? No, pick something else! <laughs> Alright, I have this big old basket of cloth diaper laundry and socks. Random dish towels, other random things as well <laughs> that I'm gonna fold up right now. Bear is taking a nap. Okay, so while I'm here folding up some diaper laundry, I thought I would show you this Dysana uh, tie nappy. So what I like to do, so I'll turn it this way. This is the way the butt is gonna go here on the wider side and the more narrow side is gonna be the front of the diaper. So I 
fold it up in half like that and then I look for the spots where these little ties attach and I go up like maybe an inch or two and that's gonna be my like middle section so I just find the spot where it's a little bit higher than these ties and that's gonna be the middle section then I take a little booster or another kind of insert this just so happens to be a La Petite Horse hemp booster type deal any other random little insert that you have in your cloth diaper laundry totally works the packaging does say you need something extra in here you don't just want to put this tie nappy on baby you need something else in there for absorbency as well this is cotton so this is all absorbent as well but you need a little bit extra too so on laundry day this is what i do i have it a little bit taller right here have the insert in there and i take the back and i fold it down just until it hits the back of the insert so it's exactly the size of the insert right here that's just the size that works for bear right now as he gets bigger i would pull that out more and more okay so on laundry day what i do is i fold the insides in and then i take the top part put it up and i kind of just like wrap up those little ends right there and that's how i fold it up on laundry day i put it in a stack to use later so when it's time to actually put it on baby i lay it all out unwrap it all i'm gonna use this bear as baby put it on there and then the first thing you're gonna do is pull in these wings actually which is kind of the opposite of what you would do when you're like putting a regular flat on baby usually you would pull the crotch up first I like to pull these wings around because they're gonna be underneath the ties so you'll see when I do it so I have one hand holding this on baby and then I pull up the middle section here keep holding it and then you take the string and you wrap it it's gotta be around baby's waist so you gotta go under baby's butt and come back over there to the other side switch hands take the little string wrap it under baby's butt to the other side and then you can take your string take your other string you know kind of tighten them up a little bit it's a knit so it has stretch to it so you know don't tighten it too tight of course but it has some give to it when you're tightening it up so you've got your two strings and you just tie a little bow right there at the front and that is baby's diaper so adorable Oh no! Why did Bee be so sad? So here's the diaper. It's tucked in the legs a little bit. It's all the way around. I'm gonna put this La Petite Horse cover on top because it's nice and roomy in the crotch. I like big roomy covers lately for covering flats and stuff to fit everything in. You can also use wool pants. We have some wool pants down here that we can sometimes put on top that my mom just made out of sweaters from Goodwill for us when Cal was little. Mommy, look, I made it. I come mm -hmm. as you. You are as tall as me. Now I did a punch it. Really? I, I so yeah, just tucking in the little edges around the diaper, but this cover fits over oh, really, really well. Oh, mommy. Oop. I will say though, um, Putting on that little nappy it, upstairs on the changing table is so much easier than trying to do it downstairs on the floor because he just rolls around like a crazy person when he's on the floor. Uh, when we're upstairs, at least he tries, like he stays still a little bit better. So if you have a baby who likes to roll a bunch, you might not want to try those diapers. But if your baby's good about <laughs> laying and staying still when it's time for a diaper change, then it should be easy. They do take some getting used to, I will say. They definitely have a little bit of a learning curve, but if you've at least like folded flats and stuff, you should probably have like a leg up a little bit, I think. So they are a, a little bit different than just regular old flats, but uh, definitely different from like using all at once and stuff like that. 
So you may be wondering, <laughs> why would I even buy such a thing? I think they're adorable, and I saw them when I was when I had Aaron, my middle baby, and I was like, you know, those are cute. Those would be cute to try, but I didn't ever pick them up. And now Bearbear's my last baby, and so it's my last opportunity to buy <laughs> fun diaper stuff. So uh, I've been much more. Uh, like, I definitely just like buy stuff. When I see something that I like or I want to try, I definitely just buy it with Bear Bear because I know he's my last little butt to cloth diaper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next diaper we're going to be putting on is one of these Kinder or Kinder. Someone tell me how you're supposed to say it. It's a pocket diaper, it has a crossover yeah. snap, it has a single open ended pocket, but it is athletic wicking jersey inside, and this color is just gorgeous look at it they just came out with a new line of course there is a muslin flat inside they just came out with a new line of solids that are like more muted colors and they are gorgeous so if you if you like athletic with new jersey pockets and you like the colors they're totally super affordable too so if you like them go check them out and on those Dysana diapers they do recommend that you tie the knot again so when I take it off of him and lay it down here I just tie it back up again and throw it in the wet bag just so it doesn't get like too tangly and you know help it not like wear down or break off in the wash after years of use. What happened in school today? Let me see! Do you have the tooth? Yeah. It's somewhere in his bag. Well, I don't, I know, it just, so he just brought it up randomly, he's just like talking about things, so he goes, I'm not too proud today, and then he like keeps talking, and I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, I felt it, and I'm like, do you have it? And he's like, yeah, Miss Hunter It like was it. hardly even oh, wiggling. And I go, I go, it just it. fell out, and he goes, well, I was opening my bottle with my teeth. Oh. Oh, look at the cute little container for it. Oh, yes. so exciting. <laughs> Next diaper we're going to be using is a rig and gig pocket, which is actually a diaper I really like. It has a crossover snap, it has double open ended pockets, it has athletic wigging jersey, it has a tummy panel, like everything I want to see in a pocket. And inside is an oh so cozy medium size pre fold. So Bear took two really awesome naps today, so we didn't really have a lot of diaper changes. This is probably gonna be his last diaper before his bedtime diaper, which I will include. <laughs> We're gonna go and have our dinner. That looks a good. That's your bogey. Yeah. What does his shirt say? Stay the source. I need cut. Why? I just love you. <laughs> so the boys are all downstairs playing video games. The, the Calvin and Aaron are on their devices on their iPads and Justin's playing games on the TV. But I'm up here doing some watercolor stuff and hanging out with Baby Bear Bear until he's ready to drink a booby and get ready for bedtime. I'm gonna show you guys this super cute birdie I did, but these pages are drying, so try to be careful here. Isn't he so cute? So cute birdie. But yeah, it seems like Mr. Bear wants to drink a booby and go to sleep, maybe? <laughs> He's been kind of weird lately where he doesn't want to go to sleep at his normal time. He'll stay up like an hour or like an hour and a half after he usually goes to bed. And it's been super duper weird lately. So we'll see what he thinks about tonight. But let's put on a nighttime diaper. All right, so our overnight diaper is gonna be a Nikki's diaper cover. There's a Green Mountain diapers workhorse size medium in there, as well as one of the little overnight boosters from Assembly inside there. So I really thought that I would have more chances to show you guys those Dysana, um, Dysana, Dysana whatever they're called, the tie nappies. I really thought we'd have more diaper changes to show them off a little bit more. So let me know if you want to see them in a future day in the life of cloth diapering mom video. If you want to see like several of them, I think I own five. I think it was a five pack 
maybe a six pack. I think it was a five pack though. Um, I could do a video where I'm using those at most of the diaper changes instead of just once throughout the day. So I don't have a full review on them just yet. I've only been using them for a couple of weeks now. I think I got them right before Christmas. So yeah, it's probably been two, three weeks and I haven't yet experienced a poo situation in them. So I don't know if it gets a little messy with all the folds and stuff. But if you use flats wrapped around baby anyway, you know that sometimes a poo can be kind of annoying to spray out in a folded up flat because of all the different folds and stuff like that. So um, not sure how that works yet. Haven't experienced that yet. Haven't done an absorbency test either. So yeah, just using them for funsies because they are adorable. They've been working perfectly fine with just a little booster, any random little extra insert or booster I have around the house, I just throw it inside there and it's been working totally fine. So I've been enjoying them. Not something I would want to do if baby's in a bad mood at that particular diaper change, you know? So it just depends. Like I said, I like changing them on the actual changing table a lot better because it's not as, it just keeps baby confined a little bit more than changing them on the floor in the living room. We live in a two story, so we have a changing area upstairs and downstairs. But yeah, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other diaper requests that you'd like to see in a day in the life of a cloth diapering mom video, let me know down in the comments below. Like if you want to see an all all in ones all day or all pockets all day or something like that, let me know what kind of requests you have down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.